This is Anton from the HyperAdvisor.com. Today I want to go over a product from Novell called PlateSpin. It's a disaster recovery solution. There's two different flavors of it. There's the PlateSpin Forge, which is what they, they, they call a, an out-of-box disaster recovery, which comes with hardware. And then there's the PlateSpin Protect, which on, is only the software um, that you would install in a Windows, um, either physical or virtual uh, machine. So let's get into the installation of the software. And uh, there'll be a couple, I'm going to split the video up in a couple different pieces from the installation to the configuration of the product. So let's take a look. So I have Windows 2003 installed here. And under the components in the control panel, I'm going to install um, two components that are required under the application server details and then IIS and ASP.NET. Uh, these are required for, um, as pre-installation pieces for Plate Spin Protect. If you're using Windows 2008, Windows 2008, you should also make sure you read the documentation because you have similar um, features or uh, components that needs to be installed in Windows 2008 before you can actually install Plate Spin Protect. So now that those components have been installed, we're going to have to install um, uh, .NET. So uh, Plate Spin Protect supports um, a particular .NET version. So Verify the time you do the install. Right now it's 3.5. So I'm going to go into Windows Update and install uh, amongst other patches because this is a brand new in installation of server, Windows Server. Um, install the .NET framework for uh, Plate Spin Protect, which, as I said, is 3.5. Now all the patches are installed and all the components are installed for the pre-installation of PlaySpin Protect. I can go ahead and start the, the installation of PlaySpin Protect. So the wizard will start off here, we'll select the appropriate language and the first component that needs to be installed is the database. Uh, they provide SQL Express with the installation wizard, so I'll go ahead and use that. You could uh, have your SQL Server already configured uh, using SQL Standard or Enterprise. It doesn't have to be SQL Express. So now that the database is installed, we can go and install Plate Spin Server. So this will start the wizard and basically we just follow all of the default settings that are in here. So at the welcome screen, we'll just go ahead and click next. So at the welcome screen, we'll click next and then accept the licensing agreement. We'll keep the defaults for the database side, but validate it. And we'll click next. And keep the current location for the installation directory and click next. Then once uh, we're actually done with that, we can continue with the installation and click install. So now that the installation is finished, we can go ahead and select to start the Protect web client and click Finish. Now this is going to open up the localhost uh, Protect URL in the browser. And this will be the default uh, screen or console for configuring Plate Spam Protect 
um, adding in workloads, uh, configuring the task and reports, and also setting up the the um, the back end to your the some ESX destination. So in the next video, we'll go through the setup and, and more of the interface. So make sure you check out the second video.